Hello there ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. My name is Prophet and today we will be talking about supports within League of Legends. Supports are few in numbers, but the best part about being a support is that there are so many different playstyles and way to really play the same champion that makes the entire world unique, I would say. A top lane cannon is gonna basically do the same thing. A top lane Lissandra is gonna do the same thing approximately. Obviously, you can play defensive and whatnot, but it's not really the same. Supports, you have like the different roles of the different supports, which is basically poke, sustain, and all in. Those are like the three major categories that you wanna go for. But I also want to note one of my categories that I have been focusing on uh, a lot lately. It is the lane based support and the roaming based support. Now, what I will say is that a lane based support is not someone who cannot possibly roam and a roaming support is not someone who cannot like stay in lane at all. I will put in the laning supports, I will put stuff like Janna, Lulu. In roaming, I'll put Thresh and Blitzcrank. You can say, you can put Alistar, you know, all, all kind of picks there. But what I want to emphasize on here is that the difference is not who can do what, but it's more like, say that you meet a lane like Morgana Sevier. What can you do with uh, with Blitzcrank or Thresh against that? Are you going to hook someone? No. The Black Shield and Spell Shield is going to be there. Same with a uh, Flash Flay into hook. Yeah, not going to do too much. The Black Shields um, and the Sevier Spell Shield is just too much. You're not going to be able to do anything in lane. And that is basically the char uh, characteristics of being, for example, a lane uh, or a roaming support. It's when you uh, play a champion that has the potential to be rendered useless depending on the enemy matchup. Right. So this means that, for example, you want to roam to mid lane, as it's the closest lane, and if you can play Thresh at a decent level and, for example, get into the enemy uh, mid lane, or get into the mid lane, I mean, flash flay into hook, you will probably be able to force a flash, as long as you time it approximately right. And this is something that I find to be truly crucial. Because if I play someone... Okay, this is actually... When I were, I think, gold 4 or gold 3, I got stuck for a very long time. I would play someone like Thresh, and I met Morgana all the time, and from time to time Morgana Sivir. And in those lanes, I would just render useless. I could not do anything to win the lane. And all I had to do was just hope that my team won the rest of the map. So what I uh, uh, tend to do then is just to say, okay, now we can try to push up the lane. Or if not push up the lane, I'll just, okay, the lane is pushed up approximately to the tower. Can they dive two people in level four? No. Then I will probably sneak around through uh, Tribrush if we are on blue side, Ward River, and then walk to mid lane or something like that. This opens up like, then we kind of dive your AD carry, or AD carry gets more level, uh, not necessarily that we get all the CC depending on how good they are, but you can get off a good gank. And if even if you fail the gank and you only blow the enemy flash, only, in quotation marks, you still put your laner at an advantage, and suddenly you made a difference that you might not have made by staying in the bot lane. It was something that I always like to do is uh, roam to help your jungler. Uh, as we have seen in the gameplay that I have uh, been showing here in the background, I actually decided to help Rengar because the enemy had a Sheko with a kill, uh, which he, he killed Rengar very early on. So knowing when the, the red buff is going to spawn, he will, might want to try to do that again. So showing up in a location like that and helping your team out is crucial, especially when you play against someone who is good. Right now I am in plat 4 and climbing, reach plat 4 yesterday and it's mostly because i have been able to understand the difference between different supports like what are their capabilities what can the champions do and what role do they fill which is why i think uh, the roaming support and the uh, lane based support are so different not necessarily because they cannot do the same things lula can't roam janna can get up good roams but uh, thresh blitzcrank are just better at it the same with lulu and janna are not necessarily forced out of lane depending on enemy matchup I hope you guys uh, at least learned something here. Thank you guys for tuning in. I love you all and I'll see you guys next time.